Hi everyone, this is part two of solving equations with um, uh, flow charts. So this is the movement of going to two-step equations, but it kind of follows the same sort of scenario. Whatever you're looking to do, you're trying to solve for the variable, isolate it. So whatever's being done to it, we want to make sure that we're undoing it using the opposite operation and doing it to both sides. So I'm going to kind of use both of these to kind of help us through the process. So first step is always to identify the variable. So our variable is x. Okay. Second thing we want to do is find out what is the first thing that's happening to x. You'll notice that there's a 2 in front. That means that x is being multiplied by 2. The second thing that's happening to the x value is that this whole quantity is being added by 7. And the solution is 13. So if you're working backwards, trying to undo what's being done, we take 13 and we subtract out 7. Then we're going to have to divide by 2. So if you used your calculator, if you did 13 minus 7, you get 6, and 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So our solution should be 3. Now to show your work more, um, I guess, officially, you can draw your center line equal sign down. And we start with the process of trying to get rid of the 7 first. Sometimes I like to cover up my variable, and it will tell me what to start with. So in this case, you're going to subtract by 7 on both sides. When you subtract by 7, just like we did here, you're left with 2x on the left side and 6 on the right, because 13 minus 7 is 6. Our last step to undo multiplication, we're going to divide. So we divide this side by 2 and divide this side by 2. 2's cancel out, and you're left with x equals 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So the flow chart really allows us to kind of see the process of the, of the equation, how to solve the equation, and we can use this thought process to help us solve, um, I guess, more officially. All right, next problem. Our variable here is m. Okay, so m is our variable. First thing that's happening to m is that m is being multiplied by 5. The second thing that's happening to that quantity is that we are being subtracted by 4, and our solution to the problem is 26. So if you work backwards using the flow chart, you are going to do the opposite of subtracting by 4, which is to add 4. Do the opposite of multiplying by 5, which is dividing by 5. And before we write in our solution, I guess we can do that. 26 plus 4 is 30, and 30 divided by 5 is 6. I was going to say what we could do is just use what we know about the steps to solve over here. So step 1 would be to add 4, because you want to undo what's being done. You end up with 5m, because the minus 4 and plus 4 cancel out on the left side. And the 26, you're going to add 4 to it, you're going to get 30. Again, it's a balancing act. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. Last step, to undo that multiplication, we're going to divide. So you divide by 5 on both sides. And you get m equals 6, which is what we got here. The flow chart, again, allows you to actually do the math. So if you use a calculator, it might be able to get the answer quicker. But this is kind of how we show our work. All right, next question. This one. Our variable in the problem is y. Okay, so y is being divided by 2, and then it's being added by 7. And our solution is 22. So you would take your 22, you would subtract by 7, All right, and then the last step is to multiply by 2 because we undo what's being done. 22 minus 7 times 2. And if you were to use a calculator, you would find out that 22 minus 7 is 15, and 15 times 2 is 30. So our solution should be 30. And we can show our work to see how this work out. When I was a kid, one of the things I like to do is kind of cover up the variable and whatever is attached to it. It'll tell you what to start with. 
So getting rid of that plus 7, which is what we did here. We're going to subtract by 7. You get y over 2 equals 15. All right, make sure you're subtracting the 7 from the positive 7. And then the last step is to multiply by 2, which is what we did here. Multiply by 2. Multiply by 2, divide by 2, you're left with just y. And y will equal 30 because 15 times 2 is 30. So this is how we show our work mathematically. And this is kind of how we set up the, the values. We can always use a calculator to help us solve it. All right, next problem. So similar to the one we just did, we have a variable that we're solving for, which is f. In this problem, f is being divided by 4 and subtracted by 3, and the solution is 6. So step 1, we get to add by 3. So I'm going to add by 3 on this side. I end up with f over 4 equals 9. Next step, undoing division of 4. We have to multiply by 4. So we're going to multiply by 4 on both sides. f is equal to 9 times 4, which is 36. The very last one is the one that we're going to star. This is kind of a tricky one, but we'll do it together. So this one doesn't really follow um, you know, adding or subtracting first. So I'm, I'm going to show you this one, but this is one that you'll work more with when you get to algebra. So our variable is x. The first thing that's happening to x is that we were actually adding by 4. After that, this whole quantity of x plus 4 is being divided by 5. And the solution is 3. Working backwards, undoing what's being done, 3 times 5. And then we're going to subtract by 4. So I'll do the work over here to help us out see this. So normally we would like subtract by 4 and all the other problems, but this is the one special case where we're trying to get rid of that divide by 5 first. So we're going to multiply by 5 on either side. You're going to end up with x plus 4 on the left and 15 on the right. Our last step, to undo that plus 4, we're going to minus 4. And you should get x equals 11 as your solution. So for this video, the whole idea was being able to identify what the variable is, what are the things that are happening to the variable in the order that they show up, and making sure that we undo whatever is being done. The most common problems you're going to see are just like um, these two. These two are the multiplication, and you're either adding or subtracting, how to solve them. The other two that we had were division. You either had uh, division with addition, or we had division with subtraction. And as I said, that last problem was a special case um, that you may see. So I hope that this helps. I hope that the uh, flowchart idea kind of helps you organize your thoughts and then also helps you kind of set up the, uh, the math problem.